You've all seen these before. This is it. This is all the instructions you get, man. Most of it is written. So here we have our install of the cheap Chinese diesel heater in our van. This is our living quarters. I've elected to put it in here. This is it. As you know, I'm sure you've seen these online before. They look similar to the normal Webastos or the Trumas, but about a tenth of the price. This is the install. I've put it in this box here. Um, there's going to be a cover on here. And we can put our other stuff we need to put on there, a bit of storage as well. What I've done here is cut a hole in here. Connected with the pipe they supply. Everything is in the kit, by the way, all the stuff you need. Here I've made an air intake for the cold air coming through here and then back through here. Otherwise it's a closed box and it can't actually pull any air in, right? This is our diesel pump, which pumps the diesel from our reservoir all the way through these tiny little pipes, all the way up to here. This needs to be mounted at an angle of about 45 degrees up. I'm not sure why that is, but anyway, that's the way they want it. There is also a little diesel filter there, as you can see, and all the wiring that you need, which is a little bit of a mess, but that's all I could do. And what that does is control your pump, and it comes through, I've routed it here to the control, here we have the exhaust and the inlet for the air to the combustion chamber. The exhaust comes around into the wheel well. I've just hooked it up here. Seems okay, I'm not too worried about the heat because we already have an exhaust right here. And you can see as well that I've looped the diesel pipe down and back into the car and it runs through the boxes all the way to the right hand side rear wheel arch that little pipe there comes out of the box inside the car loops around down here this is a diesel tank which is not standard obviously in a 110 but basically that gives us 50 liters in theory we could burn diesel warming our car for the next month non-stop there is our diesel pump which I have disconnected because they reckon to start it you need to purge the line of air up until the diesel pump so we're going to do that now which we do with our remote control which is over here this has a number of functions voltage that's the altitude, I think. That's an error message. Time and temperature. And that is the watts, okay. No, it hurts, actually. So I'll try that first, see what happens. Should Diesel should come out of here. I've got some tissue paper here. I hope it's enough. Let's see, push these together. So, it's pumping. Can you hear that? Check it out guys, it's working man, get some warm air, can you feel that? It's good huh? So yeah, there's the pump connected again, the line going into here, it pulls air in here, blows it out here. What you also get is a little remote control man, check that out, so you can raise the temperature. I have to figure out why it says P instead of temperature degrees, but it's going up and down, which is cool. And then you can switch it off. So that 
takes, will take a while to wind down. But that's really cool. You turn it on and off from the comfort of your bed, man. Pretty nice, huh? So we're winding down. Result, man. So. Uh, I'm super, super, super. He's a genius. I've married a genius. Yeah, you can do it. It's not it that works. hard. It it's works. It's toasty. And it's really cool. So now we can head to the snow. <laughs> stop traveling. So brilliant, Yippee. man. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down below your mm -hmm. thoughts. I'm sure you've done this before. At least now this proves anyone can install one of these things. They're <laughs> quite easy, even though you don't get many instructions. This is all oh, you get. So cool. And yeah. It's so toasty. Oh, I'm cool. amazed it works because cool this is one of the cheaper ones online. I mean, it's like 120 euros 150 oh, cool. put the price down below um yeah excellent fantastic oh, that's wicked. Well done.